Hi, I'm Ben, and happy 80th 5th anniversary to all the Superman fans out there. Well, James Gunn, for those of you that don't know this, James Gunn is now the, C is the CEO of DC Studios, and he announced some new DC products, but he also announced he's going to write and direct a new Superman movie. And he on his Twitter page, he posted a picture of the script. All I know about this movie is that... Is that it's going to be about, about a younger Superman movie. It's not going to be an origin story. It's going to be sim similar to like uh, what Spider-Man Homecoming and the Batman did. It's about a younger super... Like you know how Spider-Man Homecoming was about a younger Spider-Man still trying to learn how to be Spider-Man? And and the Matt Reeves' The Batman was about a younger Batman. It's not another origin story. It's just a... About a younger Batman trying to learn how to be bat, still trying to learn how to be Batman. It's the, it's similar to that. Like it's like here, it's gonna be about a younger Superman, not too young, still knowing how to work on a daily be pl, be planet, but just young enough. Um, okay, so this video is what I would like to see in Superman Legacy. Now, these are just some ideas I would like to see. It doesn't matter if the, the even though it doesn't it might not happen in James Gunn's like Superman legacy he might have his own ideas, but this is what's something I'd like to see. Okay, so what would I like to see? Well, it, it what I know about this is that it's gonna be about a younger Superman that's trying to balance his Kryptonian life with his human life. So that sounds interesting. Okay, so what I'd like to see in this movie is that. Uh, a new villain like we've seen Lex Luthor we've seen General Zod um how about Brainiac because Brainiac they've been building up for a while like in Superman Returns they were gonna make a sequel and they were gonna rumor has it they were gonna have Bizarro and Brainiac in it but that got cancelled due to Superman Returns bombing so they rebooted it a few years later with Man of Steel and with Man of Steel 2, they, unless you want to include Batman vs. Superman as Man of Steel 2, they said they were going to make a Man of Steel 2, but it was going to have, they might have Brainiac in it, but I think Brainiac should be the next villain, because we haven't seen Brainiac in other, in the movies, we only seen in other animated movies and other TV shows, but we never seen like a full length live action movie with Brainiac. His only live action appearances that I can think of was in Smallville and that show Krypton. But that's really it. I I like to see like a full T V show movie where he fights Brainiac. And Lex Luthor. In my opinion, they never got Lex Luthor one hundred percent correctly in the previous films. Hear me out on this. Like I love Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor, but if you watch the first movie, he doesn't dress like a a comic book villain trying to fight Superman. He looks like a comedian, like with that curly wig, the plaid suit. He he just doesn't seem like Lex Luthor to me. Um, but like me, like I kind of wish they had him bald throughout the movie and wear a nicer suit. Like, that would at least attempt to be Lex Luthor. And in Superman Returns, which hold up, which doesn't hold up with that movie, was Kevin Spacey in it. Because Kevin Spacey faced controversy that I don't want to get into. But uh, all I know is that he doesn't get, it doesn't hold up having seen him in the movie. But it's too bad because he's the most accurate of what Lex Luthor looks like in the comics. Like the bald head, him wearing a nicer suit. Like that's the Lex Luthor I want. But he didn't have LexCorp. Like in Batman vs. Superman, Lex Luthor had LexCorp. But he didn't. But Jesse Eisenberg was nothing like the comics. I mean, I did a whole review on. Batman vs Superman, but I don't remember what I said because it was so many years ago. But all I can tell you is that I did not like Jesse. Like I like Jesse Eisenberg, but I did not like him as Lex Luthor. He, nothing against him. It's just he didn't look or act like what Lex Luthor acts like in the comics. But with that said, um, they had LexCorp. Like I want a Lex Luthor that looks 
like that looks and dressed like Lex Luthor, like how he is in the comics, and has LexCorp, like like that. And you could have, and maybe if you are gonna show Lex Luthor in a future movie, do the armored suit, like in the comics. I I discovered he has this armored high tech suit that he wears. Show that in the movie. That never. Got a we never got to see that in the movie. Uh, it only appeared in comic books, but we never got to see it full length in a movie. Like, that would have been awesome to see. Well, I guess that's the villains. Like, maybe have Brainiac be the villain, but maybe have Superman. But maybe have, like, like build up Lex Luthor for a future installment. But if you are going to show Lex Luthor, like, show him. Like, have him with as LexCorp and cast an actor who looks like him in the comics. Like, here are my suggestions for Lex Luthor. Like, Brian Cranston, everyone wants Brian Cranston, but I always wanted, ever since back in 2016, I always wanted, like, Mark Strong to play Lex Luthor. Well, he plays Savanti in the Shazam movies, but I have heard Superman Legacy doesn't take place in it takes place in a completely different DC universe, so I think that, I think you can still cast Mark Strong because the, as Lex Luthor, because Shazam doesn't take place in that Superman universe, he takes place in the Man of Steel universe, so you can still cast him. I mean, look at Mark Strong from before, they cast him as Sinestro, so why not have him as Sinestro, then later he's Dr. Savannah, I know. Lex Luthor. I mean, the same thing happened from before, like, like with Brandon Ruth, like, he played Superman in Superman Returns, and then he played Ray Palmer, the Adam, in the DC Legend, in the DC Arrowverse show, so that could work. But, yeah, okay, so besides Brian Cranston or Mark Strong, um, Vin Diesel sounds like a good casting choice. I mean, he has the right head, he has the right look. I mean, that could that could really work as Lex Luthor. Um, so and and another casting member, um, Clancy Brown. Like he's the guy who does the voice of Lex Luthor in the animated films, and he has played live action roles in like the Dare the Daredevil series and in the Flash. TV show, like, he has played in live-action roles, so you could cast him as Lex Luthor, like, shave his head and boom, Lex Luthor, and you're literally hearing the animated voice come out of Lex Luthor, like, that would be awesome. Okay, so those are my choices, but with that said, I don't know who to cast as Brainiac, but I hope it's a good actor that really matches, like, Brainiac. I, I wonder what's Brainiac's origin story, like, in the animated Superman show, he was one of he's Krypton's secret computer, but in other versions he came from an alien planet of cyber robots. I I read a few comics, but I'm very confused about it. But I wonder what they're gonna do if they do show Brainiac. But yeah, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with Brainiac or what they're gonna do. Um, I don't know if Brainiac's gonna be the villain. I don't know who's gonna be the villain. Because we already had General Zod in Man of Steel. We already had him in Superman 2. So we already seen General Zod. But yeah, like have a... Like I know many Superman villain um, villains. Like there's Brainiac, Lex Luthor, um, Toy Man, Metallo. But I don't... But I had to ask my dad or watch animated series of to get to know all these other DC villains. Uh, Superman villains. But I only know these because my dad and I only watched the series, but like think about it, people know who Batman's villains because of the shows and movies they made. But like they know who the Joker is, they know who Penguin is, they know who Mr. Freeze is, but that's because we have so many movies about them. We know their rose gallery, but we don't know Superman's rose gallery as well because they don't they didn't make that many movies. I heard also another thing, when Superman 3 was getting developed, I actually went on Superman 3 Wiki movie Wikipedia, and I actually heard they were originally going to have Brainiac as the main villain. And they were also going to have Mr. Mixoplek and even have Supergirl play a big part. 
But in, but the stu but Warner Brothers, of course, but Warner Brothers said no because the story would have been too complicated because there was this time travel story where they traveled to the Middle Ages. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I, I you could have had the do the same story but not have them time travel to the Middle Ages like. No, you didn't need to have them time travel to the Middle Ages. Like, you could have just had them still in Metropolis and just have Brainiac as the main villain. And I also heard the reason why Supergirl didn't appear is because they wanted to give her a film of her own. But, I don't know, I really think you should have, like, maybe have her appear in Superman 3 and then give her own standalone story because she was part of Superman story, so I feel like they that was the better option, like, introduce Supergirl in a Superman movie and explain who she is, then introduce her in a spin-off, like, at the time they would have done that. Well, anyways, I think that's all I can say, what I'd like to see in Superman Legacy. Um, um, uh, well, mainly I talked about the villains, but I don't know what else is there, because I like that they're not doing another origin, just casting a young girl actor because we already seen the whole he came from krypton everyone knows that story as much as they know superman like because we already have two movies with his origin it's kind of the same way with spider-man's origin story we get it he was been by a spider his uncle ben died so we get it so it's the same with superman like we get the origin he was from krypton we we can already watch man of steel and Superman, the first one, we get the idea. He came from Krypton. We know that. So I do like what they're gonna do, but oh, I guess here's something I like to see. I like to see like a proper Fortress of Solitude. Like in the first movie, it was crystals and stuff into a home, and in the other one, they trying to make it like a Kryptonian spaceship. Like that was their take, a, like a lost spaceship that gave them his home. Like, that was their take on the Fortress of Solitude, sort of, but it was like a Kryptonian ship, but it was in Metropolis, so I think that was their take on it, but with that said, I like to see, like, a proper Fortress of Solitude, like, in the comics and other things, they have him, like, holding up statues of his parents, like, he has par his parents' statues, like, they can do that, but something like that, I like to see that, um, and I, and here's another thing, because a lot of things, what people said about the mo the Man of Steel movie is that they, is that it was too dark, but I like how action Man of Steel was, like with all the action and suspense and superhero action, like fighting and, and cool action scenes, like, and Superman did, the original one had, and the original, Christopher Reeve's Superman had cool action, but it was mainly, like, yeah, you know, but it, I really, like, I kind of want them to mix, like, both, like, maybe have, like, the superhero action, big effects with big ideas, with the comic book edge, with Superman, that Man of Steel did, like, trying to do something different, while also trying to capture what Superman was like even in the Richard Donner films so basically something like the comics like Because ever since the Richard Donner films like a lot of stories were trying to be lift a lot of inspiration from the Richard Donner films He was the guy who directed the original Superman movies like the crystal things the crystal like with Superman returns and even the Lego Batman movie a lot of things, but I kind of want them to see, like, maybe mixed, like, maybe try to do something, like, something different from the Richard Donner films, kind of like what Man of, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel tried to do, but also staying true to what Superman was trying to be like in the comics, like, what's the Richard Donner films, like, mix, like, something new and something what we familiar like, basically what I'm saying is be like the comics, but still be its own thing, like, what we, what, what, what would we like to see in this? Well, I guess that's what I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this review, and see you next time. Um,
Happy anniversary, happy 80th anniversary, 85th anniversary to Superman.